taste of summer to the studio with his delicious spiced lamb kebabs. Yum. I mean, indeed, it means to get a bit of a move on here. Okay, so, here we it. are. So, we have kebabs. There were flatbreads there. Kebab, which is a bit of red onion. And then also a little bit of a dressing using pistachios and uh, yogurt and uh, pine nuts and bits and pieces. And that's it. So, we'll start with the flatbreads first. Now, Andy Knight, if you're watching Andy, who chef worked at me always years ago, this is his recipe, 1996. Who the hell's Andy Knight? He's a friend of mine who's a very good chef. He lost his way a little bit right. when he left me, but it's all right, you know. He's still a good <laughs> is he lad. Still right. chef? Oh, he's still chef, isn't yeah. he? He's pretty good. But this was his recipe. You stole Got his it. recipe. Uh, no, it wasn't. That it was a, co yeah. a collaboration, oh, I was about to call it. I never paid him, by the way. <laughs> Anyway, so, so it's flatbread, which is now I use plain, normal plain flour, not bread flour, because it has, the gluten content is too high, so mm. it makes it too stretchy and you can't roll it. So normal plain flour, half a sachet of yeast, which is about three grams, a pinch of sugar, a pinch of salt, and enough water to make a soft dough. Now we're a bit short of time, so I've already made one up. Mix it together, and you want the dough that is like this. Do so you have to let it rise or anything? You let it rise. Oh, yeah. We'll just put it proof. But if you just hold that, you'll feel how soft that is. Oh, that feels really no, nice. No, you don't get that with bread flour. It'd be too tight. Mm -hmm. Now, if you've got bread flour, you can't roll it. Should give it back? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's like the slime stuff you get. Quite, I was kids. thinking that. It's so, like that. What I've done here is I've just rolled this one out here. And when you roll it out, and you'll see that it has a little bit of stringiness to it, but not too much, and you can literally almost pull it apart. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is olive oil. That's a very big brush. Isn't it just? I, I did paint my walls yesterday with it. It's <laughs> yeah, why I've I was going to say, I've got a fence that needs to do it, actually. <laughs> and then all that, a little bit of sprinkling of sea salt. Now, I very rarely use sea salt, as I know, and if you can see it, which is this one here, and you can see it, you can see it, you can taste it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they don't bother. Then I use a little bit of paprika, sweat paprika onto there, za'atar, which is a mixture of uh, thyme and oregano and lemon zest and also sesame, mm, sesame seeds. Za'atar? Za za Never heard All the supermarkets now sell it. It's a spice Sata. mix. Oh. Like that. And then cut that with a long knife. I'm trying to cut this in real time, like so. And then you'll see how stringy it is into a dry pan, which is nice and hot, and hopefully this will cook pretty much in real time. You can see how stretchy it is. Yeah. Because we're using that into there like so. Now, kebabs. In this, now, there's quite a few ingredients in here, but it's well worth it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have coriander or a mint, chilli, coriander again, ground coriander, ginger, garlic, egg white to bind the whole thing together, a bit of spring onion, and if you can get them, nigella seeds, which are just black onion mm -hmm. seeds. Mix it all together. Now, I do season this with salt and pepper. Now, right. if, you, if you don't season it with salt and pepper, it makes it tends to fall to pieces. The, the salt tightens the protein. Oh, so right. when you make beef burgers, you will season the outside. Yeah. You don't put it inside. Go on, you ask me a question. I was just going to say, how much of this? Okay, so are you a pinch of that, in? half a teaspoon of that, two tablespoons of the green herbs, one tablespoon of chopped ginger, two cloves of garlic, one egg white, a teaspoon of nigella seeds, and about four tablespoons of spring onions. Okay. There's a few ingredients on the web. The recipes are on the website. It takes a bit of time, mm. but Worth so it. so yes, it is. So when you add the salt to the meat, it tightens the protein. Mm -hmm. You want that because you want it to sit on a stick like this one here. Mm -hmm. Now you'll see that I've made this one up a bit earlier, and you'll see the, the colour difference. And that purely is because you put salt to the meat. Oh right. You don't put salt in it to stay that colour. And how much salt? Uh, probably about a teaspoon and a half. Right. I know you like your salt of fill, we'll add that a bit later on. And then you mould those onto the, your kebab like that, and then if you let them rest, they'll tighten even further. Cook them like I've done here on these ones here, mm -hmm. for a couple of seconds. So I'll just take these out of here. Like, so they're just, they're just shallow fried? Just shallow fried or grilled. Yeah. Or barbecued, I Or barbecued, which is perfect. That point now ever. I don't use a griddle pan because it just stinks your house out. It sets your fire alarm off. Oh. I don't use a griddle outside. Honestly, I just use a normal frying pan. And if you can flatten them slightly like I've done here, it means that they'll cook and they won't spin round. Yep. Okay, so cook them for two or three minutes. They look on great, it. don't they? They do. They smell delicious. Back over to the flatbreads. You'll see oh, they're blistered already. Get that blister in. Yeah. yeah. Turn it over. Oh, oh wow. So Get out cook, of they'll here. They'll cook in real time. You can have that in a second. That's Back very over here. cool. <laughs> Now, there's a dressing to go on here, which I've made also, which is thick Greek yoghurt. Or you can come on to that in a minute. Thick Greek yoghurt, mm. which we just pop into a, a, a tray like this, uh, or a bowl like that. So nice. And then I've got some roasted red peppers, mm -hmm. which would a jarred, tinned, or roast your own. It's up to you. A little bit that goes on top as well. Then you add chopped mint to that as well. And then chopped toasted pistachios. And then a little bit more yoghurt. Like that, a little bit more honey. Is and this a dressing for the lamb? This is dressing for the lamb. Now, the reason why I've done it this way is I want to show you, you just gently swirl that all together. 
and you get a lovely mix. Oh, God, that looks incredible. Look that. This couscous is really nice. Now, Even you must say that's quite nice, don't you? Yeah, I'm there's right. a lot going on Well, there's on a lot there. distracting me from the fact that it's couscous. It is. Mm. Come on, take a second. Now, in there, we can have... Can I take one of these? Yes, you can. In there, Philip, we have apricots, pine nuts, lots of lemon juice, Holly, a little touch of vinegar, mm. salt and pepper. Because couscous does soak it up. How do you eat this? Just take it off. Oh, and like cut that. It, yeah. Cut it with a knife. Like a sausage. And then do, the... I do I dip? Yeah, dip it in there. Your flatbreads I've already got here. Take these off. These are all blistered, ready to go. I'll cut these up into pieces good? like so. Oh, one for you, heavens above. One for you. And that is cooked in real time, as you'll see. Look at that. Just show that, Barry. Look at that There's there. There's all sorts Look of flavours there. there. That's amazing. See? You'll see it nicely blistered. That is so and good. And there it is. So... Oh, my gosh, that's so good. But you could do that with any sort of mince. You, you can indeed, but bear in mind, it needs to be on a fine plate, which means it's fine. The finer it is, the, the less crumbly it will be. But if you add salt How to that good point, is that? it will stick on there. But all those things together, oh. and the couscous... Now, the, the major thing to remember about couscous is a lot of times it tastes not very nice because it needs to be re-seasoned. Mm. Seal it, uh, mix it up and re-season it again an hour later. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. you Thank you it's so gorgeous, much. It's gorgeous, Phil. There you go. For details of today's recipe and well worth looking at, more delicious Brilliant. ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.